welcome back to my channel and today we are at ikea as you can see this is the first thing that i see as i walk in to the ikea i haven't been here for a while so um, it's this sort of summer spring setup that they have here it's looking very very pretty but i really like these sort of ideas where you can buy some of their tables that are cheaper put them all together and can really create a very long table let me see pull back Yes, so let's go upstairs and see what we can find. So I live quite close to IKEA, so I like to periodically come here just to have a look and see what they have. So let's go into the first thing that they have here. It gives you an idea of what you can do with a really, really small space. They've taken their greenery all the way up. It's one of their chairs. I love these baskets, they're so gorgeous. A lot of these pieces I've seen from last year. This one, they're fake lavender, is very pretty. Look at these. I mean, these are very pretty. They look really sweet, kind of realistic. Sorry, I bought these. Uh, there are kids selling out Mayflowers uh, now. Um, so she was from the Scouts, so I bought two of them. Um, I'm gonna put them away, but this looks so pretty. Close up, it does look fake I mean these ones don't look actually quite fake they look really realistic but and then we've got them in the sort of pot everything that I love these are quite lovely um, funky pieces that you could have in your home so and then you put this in and then you obviously have your herbs on that <laughs> Ikea has started going very very colorful now they've got a lot of colorful clothes just to bring out some color uh, look at these you can't buy these here obviously but nevertheless they're going really full on bright colors it's very popular here in Sweden at the moment these sort of very neon very bright colors there are lots of red and mixed with pinks as you can see here new trend that i'm finding very very popular here in scandinavia as you can see this is what i'm talking about it's got a lot of color including the painting and they've got yellow yellow chairs yellow lamps i have some of these at home and they're really pretty especially if you took out the leaves the leaves are not so nice but for a spring flower they're very very pretty really good price 29 crowns i mean so pretty you see put them in a vase like that really really stunning actually these are the ones we found as we came in the flower itself is quite pretty actually but i always find that the leaves and the stems don't look so nice because they're quite plasticky but these ones here, because they have this sort of, can you see, sort of velvety texture to it, it looks a lot more realistic. So I actually came to see what they were doing for spring 2024. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm in one of these spaces. You can see it's a lot of pink. Um, they've got an arch over here. It's pink. Lots of these sort of pastel colors, these pops, lots of reds and pinks happening together as well in the design world here in Scandinavia well in Sweden at least and as you can see over here we've got some of these beautiful chairs are uh, this beautiful red color and the red against the pink really really pops now these flowers are also really pretty look at them I want to put them out let's see so if you're like me and you don't want to spend lots of money on real flowers look for these stars but there again can you see the stem here i would stay away from things like this the stem looks fake because even if the flower looks pretty lovely and realistic it's not going to look very good i'm not really used to filming while i'm at ikea i usually film and then do a voiceover but i'm trying to get better at it so let's go Look at these, very pretty, sort of this powdery blue pot. They were 79 crowns, oh, gorgeous. 
my sister-in-law bought some of these I thought they were nice but they you know they're very plasticky but the terracotta pot with the glaze on the outside looks really really pretty I can see some herbs in here um, some sort of thyme or mint uh, would look really really lovely against this light blue another section with pops of color I don't know if you have any of these happening in Sweden other than in Sweden let me know in the comment section if you find any of these styling sections upstairs in their showrooms with lots and lots of color so this one has they've got a new linen a cloth this one is new and it's 299 and it's just so cool it's so much fun sort of pinks and blues and oranges really very very retro carpet also new one one thousand nine hundred ninety five this sign means new in Swedish but you can see it's got pinks and yellows and purples We've even painted the floor purple. Trust me, this is a huge, huge trend happening in 2024 in Scandinavia. Walked past the showroom now. I'm going to make my way downstairs and let's see if we can find some of the new pieces that I saw online. Um, and I will try and put the picture next to um, the things that I find. So that I hope you enjoy this vlog coming along with me um, for. A trip to IKEA today at, in Sweden. Um, I really want to have another slice of their chocolate cake that I had last time, but I am on a no sugar kick. I haven't had any sugar for the past week. I haven't had any coffee for the past five weeks. Um, I'm really trying to be a little bit more healthy um, and really be mindful of what I'm putting into my body. Fingers crossed. Um, I hope that I don't get any get tempted so let's get straight into the textiles I think so while I'm walking around I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about that the fact that I've really gotten to that stage where I have pretty much everything I need in my house so I don't really need to buy anything other than this sort of generic things like plastic bags maybe tea towels and things like that but for the most part i have everything in my home let me know if you're someone like that who's really trying to think that way that you have so much stuff at home and really want to use what you have at home or whether you can't help yourself and you have to pick up something when you come to ikea i'd probably be picking up some throw cushions i'm hoping i'm not going to be i have too many as it is oh look at this is new so what i mean it's all very retro very sort of 70-ish. I have a colleague of mine and she has painted her walls red, uh, really bright, no sorry, pink, a really bright pink and then she's got this bright green chair and it's really lots and lots of fun, her home, something totally opposite to mine but nevertheless it was really fun so she's really leaning into this new trend that's happening here in Sweden Scandinavia so this is the colors that I'm talking about so this is the new one this is 49 crowns this is for outdoors really glasses so the powdery blue again bottles look at that Lovely. Green and purple. And these mugs. Tea light holders. Pink. Fifty nine crowns. These sort of pink glasses. This is what those look like. 
like I said, a lot of sort of colours and sort of retro vibe going on here in at IKEA. We've got serviettes in the same design. Oh my god, it's really giving me the sort of 60s, 70s vibe. I can see sort of a 60s style dress in these colours and this oh and this is the light fixture. Oh wow, look at that. And we've got these sort of hanging things as well. Sort of mobile. 79 crowns. It's so funky. I'm loving this setup. As you can see. Just awesome. I love this throw, I think it's so funky. It says here, Ta and Q Bill. Let's see what they mean. And they're pointing here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. So. Okay, more cool stuff with different colours. We've got this vase, it also doubles up as a watering can. I really should start buying a watering can actually. So let's see the price on this. It's 59 crowns, really cute piece. And there again, that sort of terracotta pot that I saw. Really pretty colour, loving this sort of vibe. What, how much was that, let's see. 49 crowns. Some of this green. We've got this sort of brighter green. It's also very popular it's in the same family as all these sort of poppy colours that they're doing. Powdery blue. And you've got this one. It's sort of a, also a very cool colour. Ah, it's so funky. So cool. Okay, look what they're doing here. So they've got a bunch of their frames up there. As you can see, they're changing pictures um, because they've got a projector there, projecting obviously onto the frames. Obviously, a lot of color there. Wow. Just IKEA, they have such cool ideas. Lots of colour here again. This sort of planters. Oh no, this is a <laughs> this is a jug or a for water, watering your plants. It looks like a cactus. How cool. How cool. So if you want to buy pots and plants, IKEA is really definitely the best place to go. It's got really, really good deals, um, like these pots that we saw. And they're only 39 crowns, which is about $3. Um, they've got also their sort of ceramic, uh, sorry, the terracotta clay pots. These are 59 crowns. They've been brought down from 99. So they're also a really good option. And they've also got lots of these sort of very simple pots. They're $12, really quite a remarkable price uh, which is very difficult to find anywhere else here in Sweden. Um, the place I go to, um, Plantagen there, it's quite expensive um, although I do like to buy stuff from there from time to time. 
IKEA is definitely a good place to source all your terracotta pot and plants. Let's go and see what the plants are like. Okay, I've spoken about these ones on my channel before. These, they're really good. They've got the plastic inside. They're not cheap, but they will probably last you a very, very long time. This is such a vibe in here. I've been watching um, a very, very popular YouTube vlogger called um, oh, what's it? Lydia Millen, uh, and she has a greenhouse. I'm loving it. I thought, oh gosh, I would really love to have a house with a small garden, not a very big garden, and just sort of have a little bit of a greenhouse and during the springtime, not that I'm a huge gardener, but this is also giving me lots and lots of spring vibes and sort of inspiration. Wow. Okay, so IKEA, like I said, have really good prices on plants. Look at their olive tree. Now, I would never buy one of these because I would never be able to keep it alive. But this one, it's only cost 749 pounds. Now look at it, it's huge, really, really big. So really good place to come and buy your plants. We've also got the smaller ones as well. And I'm gonna look around and see if I can find anything that I want. Really love these sort of pretty flowers white ones they're looking so pretty look at this one it's unusual mm. it's got a beautiful red color at the bottom there mm. my sister-in-law has this one bonsai they come in these pots they're 299 pounds look at this this is unusual what is this oh wow I have no idea what this is. Looks very interesting. Let me know if you know what it is in the comments below. What's it called? It's called a Talon Showy. Ooh. Very interesting. Is it a flower or I don't know. Oh these. I'm looking to buy some rosemary like this. Um, really pretty I don't know I have a voucher at the plant place so I might just use it there but really lovely mm, smells divine um, so let's go to the fine section I mean we cannot come to Ikea and not go to the fine section it's just crazy and then we've got an ice cream stand showing you what you could do so cool even now look at the yellow and the pink it's just I'm loving it I think it's just so much fun obviously I would never have it in my home but IKEA do carry some of our very famous sweets the more famous ones this is called Gotto Blanda today is Saturday sweets when I'm filming so these ones are 15 crowns. So if you ever want to try some of the Swedish sweets, I would definitely recommend going to IKEA and picking up some of these because they are really, really cute. And really good to eat. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> IKEA, full of color. Look at this. This is in the market for a lamp. 209 short down. It's gorgeous. But my husband and I would never be able to put it in our car. Wouldn't fit any space that we had, but it's 1,900 and from so. Goes to show, never leave without looking at the find section 
so i hope you enjoyed this vlog coming along with me to ikea here in sweden scandinavia i love coming to ikea just to get some ideas and see what's new in stores and it was so fun to see all the bright colors that they had this year for spring 2024 so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think then i know for next time i can make another video like this maybe in the summer see what they've got out for summer 2024 i love going to ikea i go there regularly uh, not that i buy stuff all the time but it's really close to me and i love coming here to just have a look at interior design and what ikea is doing because obviously it's the place where everybody can afford to go and it's budget friendly so give it a thumbs up thank you for being here and i'll see you in my next vlog bye bye